Hey, my name's Jerome and welcome to Gentleman Becoming. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Boardroom by Alexandria Fragrances. It's an impression of Office for Men by Fragrance One. And if you haven't bought Fragrance One for whatever reason, I would definitely stay tuned because I think you're gonna like what you hear about Boardroom. So let's get into it. All right, so before we get into it, I just wanna let you know that this is the original and this is the impression. This costs about 180 bucks shipped and this costs about $60 shipped. And yeah, it's a performance piece and it's got top quality, but this really is something special. I mean, well, before we get into it, let me tell you a little bit about Alexandria Fragrances, who they are and what they do. So you have this guy named Hani Hafez, right? He's the CEO, he's the founder of the company, and he's the perfumer behind all of the fragrances over there. And they do original creations, but they also do impressions. So they have original creations like Coco Dreams, maybe you've heard of it, or California Winter, Vitamin C, Christmas Eve. And then they also make impressions of fragrances. I don't wanna say clone because I feel like it's a little bit disrespectful when the fragrance doesn't really match up to what the original is or doesn't surpass it per se. But what this guy's doing is he's making impressions with quality performance and sometimes it even exceeds the performance of the original. And that's something great. He also makes impressions of fragrances that they don't make anymore. So if something you know has been discontinued, he probably makes a fragrance for it and the performance is gonna be like right there with it. Like for example, I like Tom Ford Italian Cypress. I think it's wonderful, it's great, but they discontinued it. However, he makes it and the performance is there. Does it smell exactly like it? No, it's about 95% close. And that's what we have here with Boardroom by Alexandria Fragrances. Its scent profile is pretty darn close to Office for Men. However, Office for Men is an absolute beast when it comes to the performance category because it projects like a boss and it lasts a really long time. It's a fresh fragrance and yet it lasts 15 hours on my skin. That's unheard of. That's typically not the case. Boardroom, however, is still a beast in terms of, well, maybe not a beast. Uh, I get about 10 hours on my skin and scent wise, it smells so similar like this, but it, it's almost got, it's almost a little bit more fruity or like there's a touch of cream in it something something about it really is good don't get me wrong and it's a little bit more salty in the dry down it's like you can get that uh like ambergris or, or something you know what i mean it's just like it's just very salty that's exactly what it smells like and i've gotten plenty of compliments with this just as i have with this hey if you're getting any value out of this video please consider subscribing or go ahead and like the video let's get back into it boardroom really checks off a lot of boxes and even though it doesn't perform quite as well as this it still does a great job in the performance category and that's what's so wonderful about it you're only paying like 60 bucks shipped versus like 180 185 i think and i'm not including any discounts but if you do want to talk discounts okay jeremy had it buy one get one free that's pretty good for 180 bucks like okay sure and then he's doing like for black friday like 30 percent off and that's still pretty straight too. Like I'm not knocking this one. Alexandria Fragrances, you know, around Christmas time or Black Friday, they come out with discounts too, like steep ones. So you can get this maybe for like 35, 40 bucks shipped. That's insane because you're getting 10 hours of longevity on your skin and it definitely performs and it leaves a trail. Like it's really, really good, don't get me wrong. You get 55 milliliters of it, that's a decent amount. If you have a lot of fragrances like I do, I, I well, I mean, not compared to some other fragrance reviewers, right? I've got like 20, which if you're not, if you're just getting into fragrances because you've watched some of my other videos and you're like, okay, I'm gonna start, you know, going into fragrances. I already do the wardrobe, I already work out. Let me mess around with cologne. You're probably thinking like, wow, 20 is a lot, but it's like, brother, when you get into fragrances like that, um, or even if you're a woman watching, it's anybody really, that kind of stuff that stimulates your nose and, and our noses are like the most powerful uh, sense that we have. Man, let me tell you, it can <laughs> it can really wrap a lasso around you and kind of take you in. So, you know, that's why I always suggest to people like buy decants. As far as blind buying goes, I think you'd be really happy with this. And the reason is, like I said, there's just something about it that is 
mass pleasing but it doesn't smell exactly like anything else out there like even the original like some people say it smells a little bit like Dior Sauvage and that's probably because it has like an Ambroxan vibe to it sure and some people will say like a little bit like Creed Aventus like maybe some of the birch smells like something in here but you know either way this is really really good and it's it's unique there's no clones of office for men other than this one right now as far as i know if you're gonna pay 180 for this then sure more power to you but just know that if you spend 60 bucks on this and this is 180 you have like a what 120 dollar difference so i mean you can do a lot with that you can buy i believe uh, blue de chanel eau de parfum is 95 dollars for 3.5 ounces so you can get that and then some um what else can you, you can get a bunch of cheapies if you wanted to you can get a bunch of decants a bunch of samples from scent split or you can even buy uh, a couple more alexandria fragrances whether they be original or impressions you know what i mean so it's kind of hard to justify that especially when alexandria fragrances is making quality fragrances like the performance i haven't dealt with one where uh, actually i guess that's not true wasted moment is a impression of by Killian's apple brandy and it smells great don't get me wrong but on my skin the performance factor just really isn't there it doesn't push out it barely lasts um, and the way I've tested it is like I've, I've worn it out in different levels like I've done you know X amount of sprays versus X amount of sprays and I'll go out somewhere or if I know I'm gonna be around people that like I'm familiar with I just ask them like hey you know I'm testing this cologne can you smell it from there or whatever and that's how I get an idea and I'll do that like hours later and I'll always spray like however many sprays I did on one side like if I do three behind this here then I'll do three on my hand just to get a uh, feel for like what it might be if I'm getting whiffs of that you know I won't do that the first time I definitely test these things over time but when I was testing boardroom I mean yeah the performance was definitely there just a lot like this it reminded me exactly like it and the first time that I wore it I did the same spray routine that I do with office for men and you know I was thinking like man is it gonna last as long you know I wonder if I'm gonna get whiffs of it I wonder if other people are gonna be able to smell it and that's exactly what happened I kind of felt like I was wearing the real thing I could just tell that the smells a little bit different um, but it's pretty damn close and for that I can't I can't knock it so just keep in mind that there's a hundred and twenty dollar difference between the two what are you gonna do with that extra hundred and twenty bucks so when would you wear boardroom well it's definitely office safe right I mean that's kind of the point even though it doesn't smell exactly like office for men but it's it's close enough um, I'd even wear this on a date honestly or if it's warm weather or if I know I'm gonna be indoors like somewhere temperature controlled great it doesn't really survive out in the cold and it's not meant to but just thought you should know um, it's a reliable and dependable fragrance in terms of performance and compliment getting or compliment factor um, so yeah if you're somebody who's just barely into fragrances go check out alexandriafragrances.com i'll leave a link down below so just scroll down go ahead and click it and see all the different fragrances they got like i said they have original creations and they have fragrances that are copies so to say we're gonna say impressions because that's what they call it impressions of whatever fragrances are out there so if you've been eyeballing you know um you know whatever fragrance like uh, if you've been thinking about Layton by parfums de marley then why don't you head on over to alexandria fragrances and maybe check out the impression of it if you're on a budget because i know that's an expensive bottle or maybe you're more designer related like you were looking at your omen tents well why don't you head on over to alexandria fragrances and check out his impression for it because it's going to be you know uh, much lower price than that like let's go the fact that they were able to make the 60 bucks when the original version of it cost 180 like ish shipped that's pretty good so why don't you go ahead and check them out i mean they're awesome honestly so if i had to go back in time and i could only buy one i'm somebody who's a little bit more liberal with my money and because of that um, I feel like I would just go the original thing because there certainly are benefits over the original Office for Men versus Boardroom. Office for Men is a beast, especially for a uh, fresh fragrance. The performance is through the roof. It's really nice too. It's a huge compliment getter. It smells really, really nice. I like it. I can depend on it. You know what I mean? Um, but value wise, if you're looking at value as money versus performance, like Man, it's hard to beat boardroom. If you're thinking blind buying, right? I would suggest a decant of the original because the performance is nuts. Um, but if you're just looking to buy a bottle of something and be done with it, then yeah, this is it. So in terms of like gentlemen becoming, right? We're using fragrance, wardrobe, and, and fitness and health to 
help build that confidence, make us a little bit more attractive in an ext extrovert uh, scene. You can blab by in boardroom and I'm sure that this will get you compliments. You're going to smell damn good. You're going to smell different than the people around you, even though it's something similar and uh, something similar to, like I said, your Sauvage or maybe Creed Aventus, but it really is its own thing and it's in its own category. The fact that this isn't spot on to the scent trail of this e makes this even more unique, but it's just by a little bit. Like I said, it's a little bit more fruity. It's a little bit more salty in the dry down and it's almost like there's a pinch of cream in it or a teaspoon, a tablespoon of cream. But what about you? You know, would you, <laughs> what makes more sense for you? And are you going to go check this out? Are you going to get a decant of this? Are you interested in this? You know, it would be pretty cool considering that I have the original and I have the impression. Um, I, I really don't think that it makes sense to own both. So maybe I'll make this a giveaway video. Who knows if I'll edit this part in. But, you know, if I can get to like 500 subscribers, I think I'm going to give this away. That would be real cool, especially if it's nationally. Uh, but maybe international. I'll see what the shipping rate is to get this across the world or whatever but yeah go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're getting some value out of this video um and maybe you'll be drawn in for a giveaway for this i've never done a giveaway so i got to figure out how to choose somebody at random um but i'll figure it out you know everybody else does it i'll just youtube how to do it <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you got any value out of it, why don't you consider subscribing or maybe give me a thumbs up or feel free to comment down below. I really like making these videos for you guys and I like to help people and uh, that's really what it's all about. So if I'm doing that, I mean, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Let me know that I'm hitting the nail on the head. Um, you know, it's a lot of work to make these videos, but I just want to make sure that the effort is, is going into the right place, right? If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. But I just need to make sure that I'm putting stuff out there that people want to see or maybe they're more curious about something, I'm more than happy to make it. So, until next time, alright? Thanks.